Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. So here I'm going to give you some code and that's code that I've been using for a few years and they're well tested in production. The code that I'm going to give you is here. This uh, pagination section. Okay, so what this pagination does, as you can see that if you click on any of the buttons over here, you can do pagination. Okay, you can also click next like this, forward like this and it works. And this is great for reloading part of the page, not the whole page, part of the page without loading the whole page, which means that update part of this page. So this is great if you have a server side request or pagination. Now I'm going to give you the whole code that involves pagination and update. And I'm going to also explain a little bit how the whole thing works. Okay. All right. Now over here, whatever you do first thing you need to have a hook okay so you need to have flutter hooks so I have already installed flutter hooks you should use flutter hooks flutter hooks is a package All right. once you have that one you should have a code like this I'm gonna give you this code as well and this code as as you see that all it does is go ahead and create some restful request and load the code load the data and then it populates our model over here okay as you can see that so you I will also give you the models that involves for this thing okay so it does go ahead and create a request and whatever data we get we assign them to our variable or the model over here okay now the whole thing has been done inside fetch data now this is the most important part so whenever we have hooks in our widget then we can call this method it'll load the data it'll load the data because we have use effect okay and then the other part that actually does this reloading which means this update and reload refreshing the UI it happens through this one over here as you can see that refetch so we are calling this same fetch data method the one in refetch again so you should have a basic structure like this so I'm gonna give you this code now once you have this one this kind of file that you will create so you have to call it from somewhere so as you can see that I have to have this hook widget now, as I said that early the hook widget comes from flutter hooks as you can see that okay so you have to extend it and then basically you have to go ahead and call your hook method which is fetch restaurant which is the one that we talked early okay so all you need to do go ahead and call it with condition the parameters could be empty doesn't matter and one thing we see over here this fetch refetch thing okay and once again this refetch comes from here as you see that okay all right so this refetch comes from here so that means actually it is like a function okay so all you need to do somehow you need to pass this refetch thing to other widgets or other components so in our case for example whenever we click this button actually this refetch gets called okay at the same time actually wrapper widget this wrapper widget we created and I'll also give you this code this one actually wraps everything so once you use this wrapper widget which I've been using for a long time so you'll automatically see this kind of buttons that show up and you could do pagination so your refetch should be inside this so you, you should also check this code from the link below okay and then here we also have pagination another widget and we pass this refetch okay and pretty much that how it works so the idea is you have to have flutter hooks installed and once you have that one you have to go ahead and create a hook class and within it you will have fetch data method and that fetch data method you have to also call from refetch you can name it actually anything okay and then from your actual UI you have to get this refetch thing and then you have to pass the refetch thing to your wrapper widgets 
okay so eventually this wrapper widgets has a handler that handler has to do with this button so whenever you click this buttons this refetch gets involved and called and update the data all right so you can check everything from the link below